What's going on? How is it hanging? I'm so happy to be here with you. My name is Andrew. Hope you're having a nice day. That is Professor Meatball. And today we have some important information we're going to jump right into. We have DD about Gamma Squeeze 101. Now, hopefully you guys have been watching the Game Stock Price. This video was recorded on March 5th. And that means that hopefully one day we are already at the moon. But right now, the GameStop has passed a level of resistance that we have been waiting for it to pass for a long time. It has been past 140. That is huge because that means if you guys have been following the channel, understand technical resistance and support from a high level is that these prices are likely the same people trying to decide is the stock worth more or less than it. And if the past few days, they would make a dis different decision, then previous support can become resistance and previous resistance can become support important note that is why we are going to talk today about the gamma squeeze and what its potential is today we also have an important gme specific dd that we're going to cover here looking at the six three in calls open interest we want to be able to make sure that you guys fully understand this so now that we are all fully on board let us talk about the gamma squeeze 101 I want to share the very definition of a gamma squeeze people keep pushing a gamma squeeze but don't actually know what a gamma squeeze is and by the end of this video if you watch it to the end you're going to learn so much in a gamma squeeze the price of a stock transiently increases based on an investor buying many options to drive up the prices of select stocks due to option sellers needing to hedge their trades on the underlying stocks the reason gamma squeezes are even a thing is because of this they don't have to own shares to sell you shares therefore not really costing them much with options because they are much riskier and more volatile, they have to make sure that they have those shares available, which causes them to hedge those options, thus costing them more than it would if they just showed you shares. The Where the gamma squeeze actually happens is when you have multiple weeks of high options volume coupled with options expiring in the money. And be, remember, uh, be very mindful of that phrase, high volume call option purchasing drives the price up, which in turn helps the upcoming expiring contracts to expire in the money, causing them to be covered, which causes the price to go up even more. Now, one week of this, most hedge funds can recover and regroup from, but multiple weeks they cannot and that is why the war continues on uh, that is why in the comments i want to see some gorillas some scissors and some of your thoughts as well uh do it right now pause the video and do it because we have a lot more dd to cover now uh, oftentimes at this point if the stock isn't already heavily shorted any short positions begin doubling down often leading to the stock to be shorted this is why gamma squeezes can lead to short squeezes though not a guarantee i want you to understand the simple concept of what a gamma squeeze is so you aren't just expecting something that you haven't fully understood yet more or less just throw more or less just throwing money into a stock aimlessly uh let's see if we can scroll down a little bit You may not like what I'm saying, but anyone who knows it, knows anything about a gamma squeeze, knows I'm telling the truth. I'm just simply wanting people to understand what a gamma squeeze actually is, and that each day that passes, the option volume does not increase the less likely a gamma squeeze can happen. You can refuse to acknowledge the facts, or you can simply understand the fundamentals of what a gamma squeeze is. A gamma squeeze is not something that magically happens. It happens with consecutive weeks, a high volume of options investors with calls expiring in the money. Yes, borrow interest, SSR, etc. are all great things, but those things alone don't cause a gamma squeeze. Increased option uh, increased option volume forcing sellers to hedge the shares for those options is the very definition of a gamma squeeze. And let me explain this in the simplest way possible. When you buy a option to buy a stock at a higher price, you have to pay a premium. Let's say that you want to buy a stock at $80 when it's currently at 20. Well, you might pay a $1 premium. So now you have paid $81 uh, to uh, now you have paid $81 to buy that stock as an option, you have that whenever it expires up to whenever it expires, and you never have to exercise that option. Let's say that the stock does start to get close to $80. And the person that sold you that contract is starting to get worried, they might buy the stock ahead of time so that they don't end up holding the bag when the stock does shoot through 80 and maybe goes to the moon. That is exactly what these call options are for. If we start to get close to being in the money, the strike price at which you bought this, uh, the option, you might end up having a delta spike and this delta hedging that uh, it just involves uh, institutions buying the stock ahead of time in anticipation uh, might end up being the exact uh, the exact catalyst that we're waiting for this is what a gamma squeeze is 
borrow interest, short available SSR, etc. aren't some magic wand. They set up the ability for the gamma squeeze to happen. Thank you, Brandon, for the, uh, thank you, Brandon. And as you guys know, I'm about to buy $1,000 in GME. It, he says right here, if I hit 35,000 subs, he will buy 4,000. So that's a total of 5,000 between me and Brandon. You guys heard it. Get the subscribe button a shield. <laughs> on, on another note, there is also a quadruple witching day coming up on March 19th. If you don't know what that is, just type it in your Google search engine and read. I also have done an incredibly comprehensive video on Mar witching days, as well as got Josh Hayes Pixel, a user that's done a ton of research on witching days, his opinion on it as well. It adds the possibility of a camera squeeze to happen. The day alone doesn't guarantee anything. In addition to that, Friday was great, and those FTDs helped the possibility of a gamma squeeze, but that alone won't cause it. If, you're under, if you don't understand what FTDs are, failure to delivers, I also made a video about that specifically on the channel as well. Go check that out. Uh, on, on, uh, I honestly would imagine hedge funds laughing at people trying to gamma squeeze them without actually buying a lot of options. Actually, I know they would be laughing at people trying to gamma squeeze them without buying a lot of options because you can't have a gamma squeeze without buying a lot of options. It's all about volume. It's like trying to start a car with no gas. High volume of options investors is the gas for the gamma squeeze. Without gas, that uh, options investors, that car, the gamma squeeze, goes nowhere. And if you only fill that car up once, FTDs from last Friday, it'll start, but it will only take you so far before it runs out of gas. Uh, I wouldn't share this if they didn't want to see the people that have invested the money into AMC and GME win. They want to see you guys win. It would be sad day if they sat back while you were hoping for a gamma squeeze and not tell you what a gamma squeeze actually is. Great night, apes. This seems like this commenter is specifically looking at uh, AMC uh, and they're saying it's not financial advice. Important note, none of this content on this channel is financial advice, but let's look at a GME specific case for the gamma squeeze. This is updated as of two hours ago on GME, taking a look on the calls open interest. Uh, they have a quick recap. The gamma squeeze can begin when a large investor, typically referred to as a whale, buys short dated call options. This is just a call option that expires quickly uh, and a whale is someone that has a lot of money to throw around. Remember what we talked about in the 101 DD, that volume is everything. The banks and or brokers that sell the call options will typically buy the underlying stock so that they have very little or no net exposure. The more call options the investor buys, the more shares the brokers that sold the options will have to buy to ensure that they are net Flat. Brokers and dealers are motivated by the commissions and do not want to hold us trade either long or short. Given that these whales buy calls, the option purchases force the dealers to buy the underlying stock, which can push the share price higher. If pulled off, this creates a positive feedback loop, thus driving the underlying stock's price higher for a period of time. In a roundabout way, the dealers must buy more and more of the underlying. Like we said, the price goes high, so they forces them to hedge, buying the stock before it reaches the strike price, and then that force forces more price rising and that forces more hedging. The more that happens, the more strike prices become in the money and so on and so on. Scary snowball is about to go to the moon. Uh, first, let's look at call options expiring this Friday that are currently out of the money. We have call options on uh, 2nd of March, zero interest, uh, 46,000, right? We talked about this four and a half million shares that would have a $150 strike price. Uh, this is in a previous DD. March 4th, uh, we have a three and a half million above the $150 strike price with open interest of 43,000, right? We covered this recently. Uh, open interest and IV. Comparing the options chain between the two days, it could be seen that yesterday there was 43,000 in open interest in contrast to zero on the 2nd of March. Why is this important? Well, all things being equal, the bigger the open interest, the easier it will be to trade that option in a reasonable spread between the bid and ask. Okay, simple, simple. Linking back to the GME options chain, a significant 43,000 call options going long accumulated yesterday when compared to zero of the previous day. Why would any sensible investor buy 10,000 calls with a 906% IV if the stock was bound to plummet? People are... People are smart, right? They are not going to throw around money waiting for it to waste their money. They're going to throw it around because they think it's going to happen, right? So last week's squeeze, let's look at some historical data. We have uh, the direction of it reaching in the money strike prices causes a surge of volume that is due to the calls being exercised. If the stock reaches $150, that may cause an increase of half a million 
volume that will boost it up to 200s and so on. So what they are stating isn't something new and has probably been mentioned already, but last week's gamma squeeze that was initiated by uh, all options in the money had a hundred and two million dollars a hundred uh, three hundred and forty eight million dollars combined that is uh, that is looking at the charts last week the spikes in the price directly correlated to options being exercised at fifty five dollar and a hundred and twenty dollar strike price not to mention the volume increase with due to FOMO and hype so let's look at too long didn't read all options OI coupled with increase in stock price shows bullish sentiment. This is reinforced with the increased implied volatility for the options. Open interest at $800 is huge. We might see similar domino effect as calls could be exercised if they become in the money when the stock price reaches $150. That will ultimately push us to $200 and so on. As always, Lambos or instant noodles, you guys know what that means. It means that even though we are not financial advisors, we are here to go to moon or bust. And that is something that we are curious about. What do you think? Is the GME squeeze going to happen today or sometime in the near future as the snowball continues to exasperately go up? We talked about the mechanics of a short squeeze. Now we are starting, we're starting to pivot over to gamma squeezes and their likability, uh, likelihood uh, because they already happen in January what is to stop them from happening soon if you guys liked this video i would appreciate a subscribe a bell button click and a like of course because uh, speaking of people who like this video these people like this video very very much we have people the professor tier supporters over here and the space legends over here you can either support on patreon or pressing that join button down below and join this screen i update it every day so if you don't see it uh yourself on it just yet it's because you just joined today and you got your certificate of satisfaction we don't hear we're not here to certify we're just here to satisfy and as always for now but not for forever hope you have a nice day see you guys in the next one